Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again to Hacker World Unlimited. Today we're going to demonstrate to you the so-called CD solo panel. You've seen this on the internet and we want to show you our take on it. All right, watch it and let us know what you think at the end. All right, let's get to um, the circuit uh, and the demonstration. So here you see a digital meter and you see a board with 10 uh, signal diodes, the IN4148 series. As I'm covering the diodes, the voltage drops as I let the sun fall directly on it. You see you get about 0.2 volts. So this has nothing to do with the CD or no CD. This is simply the signal diodes firing up the electrons and conducting through the digital meter. Now, I replicated the diode uh, on, on CD and what you can see is as I cover the CD with the diodes of course the voltage drops sometimes to zero but when I move my hand away from it the voltage cranks up to maybe around 0.2 volt so as you can see uh, from the previous demonstration and this has nothing to do with uh, uh, the CD so each pack of this diode is 10 um, there are six packs I did that in uh, on purpose to see if I could increase the current and I wasn't able to drive any anything with this 0.2 volts maybe actually low uh, power energy harvesting systems might benefit from this type of solar panel now the next one is also another CD based um, solar panel if you like and here I have three diodes connected with copper wires just to prove out all the concepts that you see on the internet as I cover it the voltage drops but as I lift my hand and turn it around the sun you can get about 0.1 volt so that's it uh, uh, you can try this just for for demonstration purposes and one thing I want to show here is that when you swap the polarities of the meter uh, you notice that there's a negative sign that show up on this on the uh, digital meter so I'm gonna pull um, if you notice here the, the negative is on the actual positive side and the red is on the common that's why you get this negative uh, sign um, so I uh, almost lost the meter uh, dropped it but uh, oops okay now I'm switching the, the connections back uh, just give me a minute there using one hand to uh, to the unplugging and plugging and the other hand to do the video now when I plug it in the normal construction you see the negative sign is gone and so yeah you can try this uh, just for, for fun but one thing I want to talk about here is that if you are designing anything with these signal diodes you have to be careful and the reason I'm saying this is if that circuit is exposed to light if it's not in an enclosure uh, there's a tendency of noise from the light as so you can see you can get up to as much as 0.1 volt and in some cases 0.2 volt that's for this configuration I have a different configuration and I'm probably gonna show you at the end of this video where if you use this same uh, circuit and you use uh, any deceiving bulb instead of the Sun to shine light on it you get even way higher volts than you can uh, get from the sun i was able to get up to 15 volts at some point and um, i tried using um, buck boost converters to get something out of it but it was way uh, low the voltage was way low so it couldn't do much and then i used a series diode with an led and i was able to just get a little um, glow from the led so yes this works as a solar panel but again if you're using this to power anything it's a waste however 
if you're in a place where you do not have access to an actual solar panel and you're working on extremely low power um, energy harvesting systems then you might use this signal diodes all right that is it from us one advice to you when using these signal diodes in other circuits i want you to remember that under certain lighting conditions they can conduct electricity in fact they can also produce voltages and if you're using them in switching circuits they could give false triggers they could introduce noise to audio circuits so be careful when when using them in sensitive circuits and our advice to put them in an enclosure uh the, the final enclosure of your circuit should be a uh, light tight um, to prevent you know you getting unwanted conditions but other than that um try this and let us know what you think in the future we'll be trying this experiment with uh, rectifying diodes to see if there's any difference if there is any difference we'll post the video but if it's the same we'll just leave your comments in the general comments section all right please subscribe and watch out for our next videos bye bye So here are the circuits that I have, six diodes in series, each bunch of diodes you see here is 10 signal diodes and here I'm getting about 7, 8, it just keeps increasing as the light stays on it and right here the range is around 20 volts DC. Notice that the black cable from the multimeter is connected to the anode and the, the red to the cathode of the diodes and you have the polarities uh, have the positive signal positive voltage when i put it on the sun i have to reverse the polarity because in the sun it gives negative polarity when you connect it this way experiment with just three diodes um, you can see the voltage here as I take the, the light closer still the same setting at 20 volts DC get around a uh, decent voltage but current is extremely low so again the polarities here the red goes to the cathode and the black to the anode I'm gonna try the last one, the one on, on the cardboard. Last piece of the experiment. Um, I had to change the range here because this has a potential of getting more than 20 volts. So I set it at 200 right now. Let's see how much we can get. You can see 62 as the light is shown on the diodes. Yeah, so I also tried using a buck boost converter, but I was getting very low power, so it wasn't useful for me. But try it and let us know what you find.